long, long time ago. Yeah. I can still remember how the music used to make me smile. <laughs> The resumption of high-level economic talks between South Korea and Japan. Hello and welcome to NewsFest Addis, your daily source of news bites. After an eight-year hiatus is a significant development, reflecting a thaw in diplomatic relations between the two nations. The talks, which had been stalled since 2016 due to historical disputes stemming from Japan's occupation of Korea from 1910 to 1945, are now taking place against a backdrop of shared geopolitical concerns prompting the need for increased cooperation. The change in dynamics is attributed, in part, to South Korean President Yoon suk yeols prioritization of mending ties with Tokyo since taking office in 2022. This marks a deliberate effort to improve relations and foster collaboration, especially in the face of challenges posed by China and North Korea. The economic talks are expected to address bilateral economic cooperation and economic security policies, indicating a desire to restore and deepen economic relations between the two countries. Earlier efforts to reconcile differences include South Korea's announcement of plans for its companies to compensate individuals who were forced to work under Japan's occupation. This movie, aimed at resolving historical grievances, aligns with broader U.S.-led efforts to present a unified front against common regional challenges. Moreover, the launch of a real-time missile data sharing system involving Japan, South Korea, and the United States reflects an increasing level of trilateral cooperation to monitor North Korea's nuclear and missile programs. This collaborative initiative underscores the strategic importance of overcoming historical disputes for the sake of regional security. Despite these positive steps, challenges persist in the bilateral relationship. The decade-long ban on seafood from the area around the Fukushima nuclear power plant by South Korea and a recent South Korean court ruling in favor of comfort women who were forced to work in Japanese wartime brothels remain sources of friction. Additionally, South Korea's Supreme Court upheld rulings ordering Japanese companies to compensate South Koreans who were forced to work under Japan's colonial rule, leading to protests from Tokyo. In conclusion, while the resumption of high-level economic talks signals an improvement in South Korea-Japan relations, the road to complete reconciliation is not without hurdles. Both nations appear committed to overcoming historical grievances and strengthening ties for mutual benefit. Yet addressing remaining contentious issues will be crucial for building a lasting foundation of trust and cooperation in the region. The resumption of high-level economic talks between South Korea and Japan carries implications beyond mere economic collaboration, extending into the realm of regional security. From North Korea's perspective, the improved ties between Seoul and Tokyo may be perceived as a potential security challenge. The development of closer relations between these two U.S. allies could create a united front, strengthening their collective ability to respond to regional threats, particularly those posed by North Korea's nuclear and missile programs. The establishment of a real-time missile data sharing system among Japan, South Korea, and the United States further reinforces the cooperative efforts to monitor and address security concerns on the Korean Peninsula. This alignment could prompt North Korea to reassess its strategic calculations and adjust its approach in response to a more unified stance by its neighboring nations. Beyond the economic considerations, the behind-the-scenes collaboration between South Korea and Japan suggests a deeper level of coordination for joint security purposes. Shared geopolitical concerns and the need for a cohesive response to potential security threats may be driving forces behind the efforts to mend ties. The historical disputes and lingering tensions, while not completely resolved, are being set aside to prioritize a unified front against common challenges. This suggests a recognition by both nations that a collective approach is essential for the stability and security of the region. As such, the economic talks can be seen as a symbolic representation of a broader commitment to mutual defense and cooperation, reinforcing the idea that the ties between South Korea and Japan extend well beyond economic considerations to encompass shared security interests in the ever-evolving geopolitical landscape of East Asia. This was our news analysis for the day. Thank you very much for staying with us. Make sure to join us for another edition of NewsFest Addis.